hated school, and so I quit. My stepdad beats me when no one is around. I was abused by my mom's boyfriend for six years. I was for the first time. I was 14 when I found out I was pregnant. I smoked my first marijuana joint when I was eight years old. My older brother had pressured me into drinking, and now I can't stop. No one ever listens to me. I can't me. stand it anymore. Fighting is what I do. I've thought about taking my I'm life. I'm lonely. So I've yeah. thought about taking my life. I'm so lonely. I can't so so Fighting is what I, I do. It really hurts. It really hurts. I'm Nick Sterner. I'm the Campus Life Director for Pratt County. I never thought I'd end up being involved in youth ministry. I tried it a couple times with a couple different churches and it really wasn't my thing. Uh, I came from gangs and drugs and violence and uh, a lot of these kids didn't. I didn't really, wasn't able to connect with them. I ended up volunteering at the YFC camp in Colorado this summer. And it was at that point that God showed me what I'd be doing for the next several years. When you look at a 12-year-old child in the face and he can tell you exactly what it's like to be high on methamphetamine and crack cocaine, it's enough to break your heart. When you connect with a 16-year-old kid who takes pride in being kicked out of every school he's ever attended and his whole identity is built upon the fact that he likes to hurt people, um, it's enough to break your heart. Everybody has given up on these kids. It's happened their whole lives, and that's what they expect from us as well. We're not going to give up on these kids. We have hope for these kids. You make beautiful things. You make beautiful things out of the dust. You make beautiful things. I started using drugs when I was eight years old, and I was a regular drug user for 10 years. At 17, I started going to YFC, and I didn't think that I was going to graduate from high school, but YFC did. They, they never gave up on me. They supported me, and, and because of YFC, I, I graduated high school, and now I'm in college. And I've been drug-free for three years, and, and I've also known Jesus for three years. I used to do drugs. I used to cut myself. I used to want to die. I used to be hopeless. But Youth for Christ never gave up on me. They've stuck by my side. They've encouraged my walk with Jesus. And now I'm drug free. I'm hopeful. And I have no desire to go back to the worldly things. I'm, I'm happy with God. Even after growing up in a church and having God in my everyday life, I still ended up really angry at him and hating him because of 
the divorce and the abuse in foster care that I went through as a kid, the anger was unimaginable. It consumed everything. And then I went to IFC and I fell in love with God again and the leaders never gave up on me. Um, at IFC, I met my youth pastor and ended up finding my church, which is my new home and I love it there. And it helped me decide that I wanna go to Berkeley College and become a youth minister so I can help kids that used to be like me. <laughs> I've been a part of YFC for 15 years. I, I came to know Christ through YFC and I would say that they helped me through a lot of hard times and they never gave up on me. My name is Tony Factor. I am the Kiowa County Ministry Director. I am not going to give up on these kids. I am Whitney Krieger, the Mentor and Volunteer Coordinator, and I will not give up on these kids. I'm Kayla Jones, the Kiowa County Teen Center Coordinator, and I will never give up on these kids. I'm Deborah Factor, Development Director, and I will not give up on these kids. I'm Joel Williamson, Executive Director, and I pledge to you we will not give up on these kids.